All right, so here at the teaching point, we're moving away from types of triangles, calling them by name. Um, instead, we're going to start looking at some mathematical properties of triangles. One is known as area. I want to find the area of a triangle. Area refers to space. So how much space is inside of a triangle can be found by multiplying three numbers. One half, the base, which is what the triangle sits on, times the height, the tallness of a triangle. I want to do a little exploration as to where this one half came from. Allow me to explain that. Let me first pull up here a triangle square. I'm going to pull up a square or a four-sided shape because a lot of you guys know this about area. In order to figure out the area of this square, what would I do? I multiply. If I multiply 5 times 5, I get all the space inside. 5 times 5 is 25. True that? Okay, go ahead and record that in your notes if you're doing so. You just keep that as a thing in your memory because I'm going to delete it right here. Okay, now what if I wanted to cut this square in half? Not this way. No, no, no. But from one angle to another angle. I want to dissect it from corner, one vertex, to the other vertex. You see what I did? Yeah. Now, what shape do I have? A triangle. And if I want to know the space inside this triangle, this is it's related to what you saw before. It's related to the square. How much of the square is this triangle? Yeah. Half of it. So to find the area of a triangle, I take half of the base times the height. And I'm going to abbreviate B and H for base height. Now you know where that 1 half came from. I didn't just pull it out of my butt, but it's actually logically deduced. Any questions about how come? No? Cool. Then we're going to do some examples. 